Hey Butterflies, it's your girl Pam and we are back today. We're going to talk about sinking funds, but I thought it was appropriate today to wear my I Am Ashley shirt. You get this free when you spend an enormous amount of money on your credit card and I probably have about four of these. Brianna has a couple and I've got two. Um, one long sleeve, one short sleeve for each of us because that's how much money I've given Ashley Stewart. But she is closed now and I will not be giving her another red cent unless it is cash. So um, she's paid off, she's closed and we are good. But a couple of you guys have been talking about sinking funds and ditching the debt and um, in the comment section. And I wanted to kind of address those because up until now, honestly, I wasn't able to put a whole lot to my sinking funds. I've had them set up for a while, but because I was on zero, <laughs> baby step zero, I had to climb myself out of that debt first and get myself um, back to baby step two. So right now I have... Um, completely got everything caught up just to get you guys caught up got everything caught up in my four walls I have um, fully funded my emergency fund and I have um, started to contribute to my sinking fund so I wanted to go over them with you kind of give you a breakdown of what I've done personally for myself and no it doesn't work for everybody but this was what's worked for me and because I have several different things that come up annually, I wanted to just make sure that I was prepared for that. So let's get started. All right, so I have um, with Capital One 360, I have seven savings accounts, but eight accounts, if that makes sense. So I'll tell you how that works. I have one checking account that has a debit card attached to it. So anytime that I need to uh, utilize any of the funds in any one of these categories of the uh, accounts that I have, I can switch the money over to the checking account and go ahead and use it from there versus interrupting my budget. So how that works is um, you set up your checking account. You can have, I believe, up to 25 separate accounts. That's a lot for my little brain to be trying to figure out. So I only have seven Seven is the number of completion. It works for me, so that's what we roll with. So the first one I have is Life Happens. Um, that's not the word that I wanted to use, but <laughs> I'm going to use that for the PG uh, community. But life does happen. Um, it might just be that you went over in groceries a little bit, or it might be some items that you forgot that you needed to purchase um, or a school function that you didn't know about that your kid wanted to go on. Um, it could be somebody saying, um, I wanted to go and take you out to dinner, but um, you got to buy your dessert. <laughs> it can be anything. Life happens. It could be your tire went flat. It could be that um, you wanted an ice cream cone. I don't know, but just life happens. So that's what that is for. So that's number one. Number two is Janae's school um, account. So right now in the county we live in, all of the students get free lunch, which is a blessing. Um, I don't know how long that's going to happen. It's been since she's been in third grade, I think, Janae. Has it been third grade? A what lunch? A home lunch. A home lunch? Okay, so it's been a minute. So she's going to high school in the, in the fall. So it's been a while. So it's been a blessing. Don't get me wrong. Um, but she is currently wearing uniforms and I get hit every year because we'll go on vacation. I'll come back, try to play catch up and it never works out. So sinking fun for that. But the high schools are coming out of uniforms this year, which means she can wear regular clothes. But I don't think my child has ever wore regular clothes to school because she's always been in, in uniform. So this ought to be interesting to see what her little style is. Um, Janae and myself, we're pretty much like jogging pants uh, type of gals wearing shorts. She's wearing shorts, not me. 
Um, but you know, capris and, and stuff like that. So it ought to be interesting to see what her little style is when she finishes. But you know, hair and whatever else she needs, shoes and, and different things of that nature. Of course, school supplies, uh, paper pencils and all that other stuff that they make you try to buy at the beginning of the year. So we'll be prepared for that because we'll be putting it little by little. All right. Auto maintenance. Now, right now, I have a 2017 vehicle and it still has free um, oil changes and tire rotations. So I don't have that, but sooner or later, I'm going to have to replace my brake pads and, you know, my oil changes are not going to last and tire rotation is not going to last forever. Uh, I'm sure I've hit some bumps and need to get in a line. So those are the things that I will use for that. Pet care. Well, as I told y'all the last time, Kiana is back, which means that now we have four dogs again. So <laughs> um, they have shots and they run about $125 a pop. Now, Key pays for two. I pay for the other two. So I need to come up with about $250. So there you have it. So we've got Tank, Faith, Roxy, and Tobias. <laughs> so we got two girls and two boys. All right. Next thing is high, household items. Now my household items is toilet paper, laundry detergent. Um, I try to reduce my paper towels and use um, the white pack of washcloths from um, Walmart. It's like 18 of them for three, eighteen, somewhere in there, th less than $4. So I use those to just kind of dry my hands, but I'm a germaphobe, but I love, love, love. I could eat chicken, what, three, four times a week. So I haven't figured out anything that I can dry my chicken with um, that I feel comfortable with other than paper towels. So I still buy them, but for just normal drying of the hands, we use um, those washcloths. Um, laundry detergent, fabric softener, um, toothpaste, um, all of those feminine products. So, um, that's what that's for. All right. Then birthdays and special occasions. Well, of course I have two children that are born on the same day with them doggone twins. So that's double trouble right there. And their birthday is in January and Janae's is spread out until September, August. <laughs> She's going to get me. She's sitting right here, y'all. Oh, oh. She was supposed to be born in September. I'm, I'm going to make it okay for me. She, <laughs> I wish y'all could see her face. Um, She's in August. So, of course, hers comes right after all of that school supply stuff. So, I had to make a separate uh, category. And, of course, the twins is right after Christmas. So, you know, I get double whammy whichever way I go. So, I just decided to make a ca uh, category for that. So, the last one was deductibles for phones and different things like that. Like, if you needed to have insurance on your phone or whatever, it's like $149. Just wanted to kind of have that set aside. But... Um, what I decided to do is to change that to the baby category because I'm going to be a nana. So I'm in the midst of planning the baby shower, trying my best to give myself a budget, stay within that budget, but I am having so much fun, y'all. I have never experienced a boy. And so, um, not from birth, you know, I've got my, my, my wedding gifts, but they were older. I haven't experienced a baby boy from birth. So I'm really, really excited. Um, and so Kiana is, Kiana's baby is my first biological grandson, but he is number 15 with including all my kids, including my wedding gifts. So, <laughs> yeah, I know. It's a little bit tricky. So, I have to say that because a lot of people, you know, that know me from back in the day and they only know that I've given birth to three kids. They know Janae's not old enough. So, I'll be like, yeah, I got a whole bunch of grandkids. But 
Oh, they're like the twins and I'm like no 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 so we have to make sure that I, I kind of put that but I don't ever want my kids any of my kids whether I physically gave birth to them or not to feel like my grandbabies aren't my grandbabies because they are um so if you have any questions as far as sinking funds are concerned I just want you guys to know that with the sinking funds the best thing to do like if you have $120 that you need to save, right? Towards whatever. Let's just say that's for pet care for one of the dogs. I know I said 125, but let's just round it off. So all you would do is, you know, you just got to pay in it and it's 12 months before they have to, and you know, have to get their shots again. So you would just take $10 a month for 12 months and then you would have the 120 versus going into your budget and trying to pull that out. It, it becomes a burden. And of course, some of these things might hit at the same time. So you might have um, one of the dogs that need to have their shots at the same time as, the, as Janae needs to get her school supplies. So all of those things kind of add up. But if you divide them up and just put a little bit away each month, then at that point, it's not such of a, uh, a big of a hit. But even if you only have half, that's better than having to come out of all of it, you know, from your budget. So that's how I look at it. Um, I hope that part helps. But before you guys go, I wanted to do some internet thumbs up to all of my folks. You all have been list, um, leaving me comments in Ditching the Debt. If you don't know about Ditching the Debt, Ditching the Debt is our Facebook group. I love, love, love these folks. We've got... Men and women, we've got them all over the world, and it is so much fun. We challenge each other, and we support each other. But I wanted to do shout-outs from the comments down here and the comments in Ditching the Debt. Now, let me say, I have tried my best to keep up with all of these, but if I missed you, please, please, please charge it to my head and not my heart and leave me another comment, and I promise you I will do my best to get everybody. But I'm going to read these off now. My disclaimer. I'm going to jack up y'all's names. <laughs> Some of these names I'm going to jack up. I'm going to just tell you. So I'm putting my little, my little reading glasses on. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Ooh, wait a minute. Hold on. They look dirty. Hold on. Give me a little second. Janae's shaking her head. She thinks her mama is baddie. But it's okay. It's all right. All right. So Lynn Denson. She paid off Capital One bill and plans to pay off a credit card each month. So, thumbs up, Lynn. All right, Lakeisha Austin. Um, baby step one is completed. She paid off JC Penny credit, credit card and a 401k loan. Um, and she did that with her income taxes. Way to go to be able to make sure that you use that, you know, in a good way and not just go and do like I've done in years past where I just, you know, went a little crazy. So, Thumbs up to you. Um, Autumn Mays, she has now completed baby step one. Um, Bianca Ramos, she paid off Capital One. Deborah Goodwin, she completed baby step one and paid off her first credit card. Yay, y'all, I'm so proud of y'all. Nancy Narvez, I'm gonna mess up the last part of this. Please forgive me. Paid off the lowest bill, her Victoria's Secret. It is no secret now that she is paid off. And she added 13 points to her credit score. Yes! Go! All right. Sarah knows that I am. She's in Ditching the Dead. She know I'm going to mess up her name. Janae has put it in the translator and I'm still. What is it, Janae? Sarah? Christian. Christian John Dorf. Sarah, I'm going to mess it up. Okay. Two days ago, she paid in Great. full. Well, it's been a minute. So she paid off her lowest debt and freed up about $200 to go to her next lowest debt. So she is doing an awesome job. And Sarah's one of those people that just keeps us going on ditching the debt. So I um, want to thank her. Donna D.D. Marshall, she secured her four walls. Yes, out of baby step zero. <laughs> And three debts and a half of baby step one. Oh, she paid off three debts and she has half of baby step one done. Great job. All right, Lynn Denson paid off Capital One. 
there you go. In the future, she finished baby step one and baby step two. Y'all, I'm dehydrated. I drink water like a fish. Sorry. Uh, Florine Taylor, she completed baby step one. Gloria Mitchell saved back pay. Oh, she saved her back pay from the government shutdown and her um and it's in her emergency fund. So she's complete with her emergency fund. Great job. Missy and to all of y'all government workers, Lord knows I have prayed for y'all and I'm so glad it's over and I hope we don't have another stint, but I am so glad that worked out. Um and y'all got y'all's back pay. Um, Missy paid back a $3,800 plus personal loan. That's Missy Jones. Catherine Hilder um, paid off last debt and is on to baby step three. Internet thumbs up, everybody. I am so proud of y'all. Now, I have one more that I wanted to, to do a shout out. It is a special one because... We kind of met because she just closed on her home. And I hope she doesn't mind that I said this. I haven't had home. Uh, but I was so proud of her. It's nothing is impossible, Pratt. She closed the 21st of December, y'all, right before Christmas. So her and her family could be in their new home for Christmas. So an uh, internet thumbs up to you. I am so glad for all of you all. And please keep them coming. Uh, I'm so, like... When I started this channel, I didn't, I kind of wasn't quite sure. I've done weight loss. I've done a couple of cleaning things, you know, but this right here feels at home. I'm still all of those people and I'm going to shoot those things out every once in a while. But to physically see other people moving forward in their financial life is so, I mean, it's just, it's so I, 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 it's a feeling that I can't even explain. One, because I'm hoping that I'm encouraging you all, but at the same time, you guys are encouraging me that you can still do this. You can get this done. So I just wanted to say thank you to everybody. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Please make sure that you subscribe. Um, welcome to all the new folks. Love all my butterflies and share the video and make sure you leave your comments. Join Ditching the Debt. Just do a, a search on Facebook for groups um, and, and leave your comments because I want to make sure that I interact. I try to answer them all and I want to make sure that I give everybody their internet thumbs up so therefore I can keep encouraging you guys from this end. So I love you, butterflies. 